uh, just to recap let's have another look at what we did over 142 hours 56 live streams um, six days worth of animation work let's watch But let's have a quick recap of what we did over these 56 uh, live streams. You're watching live stream number 56 now uh, in this animation seminar series, How to Animate Your Own Film. On the very first episode of the live stream, uh, an audience member said, why don't you have uh, Santa coming down the chimney and a boy seeing him or something like that, a boy getting a present. I think we combined a number of ideas. So I just designed these characters on the spot. Um, I designed this chimney set on the spot. I designed this room um, on the spot. And then we proceeded. I can't even remember. It was just completely guerrilla filmmaking. Just roughed out this little storyboard idea here. But that was the nature of this seminar. We did it shot by shot, storyboarding on the fly. More storyboards were done here. And the whole thing was kind of storyboarded on the fly like that, where I would come on a live stream and say, this is what I, this is what we're going to do for this shot. This is what, so the first, uh, the first, let's switch into this mode now. So in the first episode, we designed that. Then we, um, we did, we did this shot. And I believe in the first episode, we, in the second episode, we roughed out this movement here. Now this, is not fully in between either, right? So I was just rushing through all of these uh, things. Then in the next couple of episodes, we did this, and this wasn't fully in between either, but you could see I was starting to have fun here, uh, but then I was making, leaving it very rough and uh, just wanting to plow through it. We then designed this boy's room, uh, and then we, we made a few drawings. We did a design of the boy sleeping. We did, did a quick design of the boy's bed, um, and uh, did this drawing here, which then led us to animate this boy waking up. This was the next shot here, and there was intended to be a, a dizzy eye cycle in Santa, but we kind of just left it. Um, then, of course, this shot, which we talked about, um, this shot, which we talked about. So you can see all, also, it must be noted that in the live streams, we did design the backgrounds 
in the stream so you do see the backgrounds being designed in these live streams uh, very much so so uh, that's something that hasn't been skimped over here this was a great stream actually if we look at this it's all one drawing we talked about how to draw from an up angle to a low angle to cheat the perspective so when we look at it it feels like he's looking up and he's looking down really enjoyed that one this was where I think I started to think mm, I'm, I'm doing something special here I still left it very rough and I didn't in between it but I think this was the first real scene where uh, I kind of had fun with this thing and then wanted to start you can see I started taking it further you got some people in the chat here who are actually present so their names are included the boy of course being we decided was Galen um, then you can see my I started to get a little neater and more tidier with these drawings as we started to to go this was another fun uh, uh, the live stream where we talk purely about shot composition a little bit about continuity and editing and stuff like that um, again we've talked about uh, briefly talked about these shots uh, some of these uh, scenes take up more than one live stream so uh, as you watch me animate you can really get a feel to how they're working there um, then we have this again with this stream here um, I think I turned off the background elements as I was exporting it so you can see how I drew a grid there and uh, started to draw in all those background elements the camera pan was done in Premiere not in Storyboard Pro I can do camera pans in this software but again I hesitate to talk about those things because they're moving away from the actual animation and what my content gives you is the actual how to get good at what I call real animation how to how to get um, uh, how to yeah produce appealing uh, character animation with nothing but your drawings here this feels fully in between when we looked at it but again there were a lot of fours and sixes in here this would have been a 10 frame slow in here you see you don't that's too too close of a gap to slow into right particularly on a shot like that so um, while it feels nice when I scrub it uh, like many of these shots um, we need like this was I'm scrubbing feels really nice but you saw in premiere how I needed to use some sixes in there right um, so it's quite def um, deceptive again this this again has needs a lot of in-betweens there's a lot of drawings missing in this uh, in this one here um, so you, we're coming towards the end of it now you are kind of seeing how everything um, has happened how it's all kind of come together um, may as well just continue scrubbing through but uh, yeah the whole uh, 56 live streams um, 142 hours worth of streaming content uh, some of this was done off stream uh, in terms of the in-betweening and the tidying up of the drawings but uh, as I said even if I was to uh, the 142 hours this is difficult to scrub this scene with the background it's chugging the machine um, we're going to look at it again anyway but as i said the 142 hours is it's just under six days worth of work and uh, 24 hour days even if you was to quadruple that amount of time uh and say uh all right well 24 days which i know it would have taken me far less because i didn't do that much amount of additional time off stream but for argument's sake uh for any naysayers or all that let's quadruple it that's 24 days that's still less than a month even if you was to double 24 the, what would that be 48 days so that would be less than two months okay so to do all of this work um, my main purpose is here to show you that hand-drawn animation frame by frame animation nothing using nothing but your ability to draw and animate um, with no software trickery or gimmickry uh, is not slow in fact it's very fast and it produces a certain kind of artistic flair and quality which cannot be equaled uh, let's talk about where you're going to be able to get this seminar series if you go over to ambanimation.com 
uh, you will see that there is this thing in the menu called Real Animator Training. If you click on that, you'll be taken to join the Real Animator Training Library. The Real Animator Training Library is the world's best learning resource in the craft of hand-drawn animation. You do, I'm not going to talk about that at the moment. You can read this uh, and watch these videos and testimonials to judge for yourself. Now, if you click join now, this place is extremely powerful. It has training archives and what we call edutainment archives. I'm not going to talk about the training archives. The training archives are the most powerful uh, life transformational uh, things about the uh, training library. We have people who have been to CalArts, uh, Bluth University, uh, Full Sail, people who have worked at, um, uh, people who have been to Animation Mentor, people who have worked at Disney, people who have been to, um, you know, uh, people who have been to Nickelodeon, worked at Nickelodeon. They've all joined this place to learn from these step-by-step -step archives that take you through exercises that you can realistically do. Now, this stuff looks amazing, uh, and we, you're watching me for 56 live streams doing this over the course of 142 hours. That's amazing, but at the same time, it's realistically, pra practically uh, this is called the Real Animator Training Library. You're not going to be able to do that as a course and recreate that. So we have this place called the Edutainment Archives. Now the Edutainment Archives are for people who are perhaps either you're serious and you're doing the training archives and you want additional content or you are just looking less, more of a hobbyist and you're looking for tips and tricks and inspiration. So this is available here now. Um, so you got animation sessions, drawing sessions, Ask the Animator and Animation Breakdowns. Most of these are a lot cheaper than the training library archives. This one is, I mean, this one has got 56 uh, episodes, 142 hours worth of content. It's extremely special. You wouldn't find these kind of seminars even if you attended the likes of the best universities at the world. You practically have watched me animate the, uh, this entire film uh, over these live streams explaining to you everything in every possible way that I can uh, as I've been doing it. Yes, the other thing about edutainment is there is a lot. I'm going to I'm gonna do this just so you can um, get, get a, a feel, feel for, for it. it. There is a lot of interaction with the audience. Uh, so there's a lot of time spent reading questions, answering questions, Q&As while I'm doing those streams. Maybe each average stream length is about three hours. So um, maybe an hour of that is going to be stuff like this, the talking, which makes the time even more amazing because if it's 142 hours worth of streaming content and average, I only spent two hours of those average three hour streams um, animating while giving you guys an hour or 40 minutes, um, it makes it even more amazing how fast that work was done and I just, I just want to stress that it's not amazing because I did it what's amazing is is you are capable of doing that stuff uh, yourselves you know all you have to do is just put in the time and the effort and learn the right things so um, it's got a it, this one is gonna be priced uh, around about the the similar to the basics archive in the in the training library uh, because it is is such a complete uh, archive, but I've got an early bird Christmas discount half price for that. So uh, it, it, on January the first, it will change. So you've got a full month and a bit to uh, to contemplate uh, getting in early. Uh, those of you who have joined my training library know all about that. When it used to be priced uh, a lot lower than what it was when it was being built. Okay, so let's go in there. So here, here's how it works. Um, how to animate your own film. Uh, we have uh, seminars split into 10s. So you've got 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, 51 to 56. Okay, episode 56 is this one here. So while there's a little bit of real nuggets of information at the very beginning, I'll give you that a lot of this is just me talking to you guys, right? So you could say 55 and a, and a quarter of live streams there. Right, so, but I'm keeping this in here because you get to see the finished film, right? So let's go in and have a look, okay? Um, 
So here's how it's presented. So you see episode one here, you see click to expand the bottom, you can make it big and we can watch the episode if we want, right? There with all the intros and all that, whatever, and it's all in there for you to see, right? Everything is there. Each episode has its thumbnail um, with its, uh, which is kind of like a guide for you to, if you want to pick up, because obviously if there's 52 weeks in a year you could do one one episode a week right and it'll last you more than a year watching this stuff there's just so much great content here but i've thumbnailed each episode relating to what's happening so you see the boy's feet coming down the stairs you know that this episode's about that you see santa pulling the list out you see it takes two live streams for that you see the room design on this thumbnail so you know Okay, well, the room is being designed on that one. You see the walk cycle. Okay, the walk towards the camera is happening here. The walk away from the camera is happening here. So each uh, lecture has been um, thumbnailed for your quick access uh, to pick up where you left off. So that is basically um, how to animate your own film. Uh, seminars uh, 1 to 56. Uh, available at the Real Animator Training Library.